we want to simplify the given trig expression to a single trig function. And we'll take a look at two methods for simplifying this expression. We're given the expression the quantity secant x minus cosecant x divided by the quantity one minus cotangent x. Notice that none of the trig functions are squared, so there's no substitutions using these identities. And therefore, let's convert all the trig functions to sines and cosines. We'll write secant x as one over cosine x, cosecant x as one over sine x, and cotangent x as cosine x over sine x. So this will give us, again, secant x is one over cosine x minus cosecant x is one over sine x. In the denominator we would have one minus cotangent x is equal to cosine x over sine x. This is a complex fraction because we have fractions on the top and fractions on the bottom. One way to simplify a complex fraction is to multiply the top and bottom of the complex fraction by the least common denominator of all the fractions. So looking at all the fractions, notice how the least common denominator would be cosine x times sine x, which means to we'll multiply the top by cosine x sine x and multiply the bottom by cosine x sine x. This will eliminate all the fractions on the top and the bottom. And notice how by multiplying the top and bottom by the same factor, we're really just multiplying by one. So now we have four products, one, two, three, and four. So looking at the top, with this first product cosine x sine x times one over cosine x, cosine x over cosine x simplifies to one, and therefore the product is just sine x. And then cosine x sine x times one over sine x would also simplify, giving us a product of cosine x, so minus cosine x. On the bottom we have one times cosine x sine x, which is cosine x sine x, minus cosine x sine x times cosine x over sine x would simplify to just cosine squared x because sine x over sine x simplifies to one. Now notice how the denominator has a common factor of cosine x, so let's factor the denominator. If we factor out cosine x from the denominator, we'd have cosine x times the quantity sine x minus cosine x. In this form, notice how the new denominator share a common factor of sine x minus cosine x. So sine x minus cosine x divided by sine x minus cosine x simplifies to one. So this simplifies to one over cosine x, and then one over cosine x is equal to secant x. Now let's look at a different technique to simplify this expression right after we wrote each trig function in terms of sine and cosine. So from this step here, let's find the difference in the numerator and the difference in the denominator. So we need a common denominator in the numerator as well as the denominator. Looking at the top, the least common denominator is going to be cosine x times sine x. So we'll multiply one over cosine x times sine x over sine x, which gives us sine x all over cosine x sine x. Then we have minus, we'd multiply one over sine x times cosine x over cosine x, giving us minus cosine x all over cosine x sine x. And on the bottom, we'll write one as sine x over sine x. So we have sine x over sine x minus cosine x over sine x. Now we we'll go ahead and find the differences. So on the top, the denominator is going to be cosine x sine x. The numerator is going to be sine x minus cosine x. On the bottom, the common denominator is sine x. And the numerator is going to be sine x minus cosine x. Now this fraction bar means division, so this is the same as the top fraction. 
divided by the bottom fraction. And now from here we'll write this quotient as a product. Instead of dividing by the second fraction, we multiply by the reciprocal. So the first fraction stays the same. Instead of dividing by the second fraction, we multiply by the reciprocal. So we multiply by sine x all over sine x minus cosine x. Notice how we can simplify before multiplying. Sine x minus cosine x over sine x minus cosine x simplifies to 1. So does sine x over sine x. And therefore, the product is just 1 over cosine x, which we know is equal to secant x. I hope you found this helpful.